Hi everyone, I hope you're staying safe and most importantly, healthy. Today's video we're going to be talking about Zoom and I know a lot of us are keeping in touch with our colleagues and friends and families virtually these days and this is a really great way to keep in touch with everyone. Zoom I feel like specifically has become pretty popular because of all the useful features it has but with more features can come more confusion on how to use everything. So today's video is gonna be a series of screen recordings that are gonna highlight different useful features in Zoom. And I'll leave timestamps in the description box if you wanna to skip to certain features. Um, so I hope you find this video useful and let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing you'll need to do if you don't already have Zoom downloaded as an app on your computer, you'll have to go to the Zoom website. So go to zoom.us and it will take you to this page right here where you can sign up for free. So once you sign up, it will prompt you to download the app onto your computer and you'll always be using Zoom through the application. So once you download the Zoom app or open it up on your computer, this is what it's going to look like. So you can either schedule a meeting, join a meeting, or start up a new meeting. So if you're going to be joining a meeting, you'll click the join button and it'll prompt you to either enter the link that was sent to you or the meeting ID number. So someone who's hosting the meeting will have to send you either a link to join or the meeting ID number. So if you can't find that, then just contact the person who is hosting the meeting. And if you wanna start up a new meeting, this is where you go. You can either schedule one or start one up right now. And if you're gonna start one up in the moment, you just need to click on this orange bubble. And it's gonna prompt you to begin with the audio and you want to click join with computer audio. And now we're using computer audio. And when you first download the Zoom app, you might have issues with your audio because your computer might not automatically allow the use of your microphone and your camera. So here's a way to fix that if that's something that's happening to you. If your audio isn't working while you're in a Zoom meeting, you can open up your system preferences on your Mac and check to make sure your computer is allowed to access the Zoom microphone. So what you want to do is go to your system preferences and then click on security and privacy. This window will pop up and you want to make sure privacy is selected here at the top and on the side you'll see camera and microphone options. So you might have to uh, scroll down to find zoom in camera and microphone settings and before you make any changes you will have to click the lock and enter your computer's password to make the proper changes. Once you do so you want to make sure that in your camera section Zoom is checked, and in your microphone section, Zoom is also checked. Okay, so now we're in the Zoom meeting, and it's obviously just me in here right now. And it automatically went to mute me, so if you're going to be in a big group, it might be nice to keep yourself on mute to eliminate the amount of noise and background noise that's going on. Um, if you want to unmute yourself, you can either just click unmute and then mute yourself back when you're done talking. Or what you can do is actually click and hold the space bar, which I'm going to do right now, and you'll see what happens to my mute. It'll say I'm temporarily unmuted. And then once I'm done speaking, if I let go of the space bar, it puts me right back on mute. So you can do that for your audio for video. You can also, if you don't want people to see you anymore, you can click stop video and it'll just have your name pop up instead. And then you can start the video back up by clicking on it again. You can also do some more fun things with this arrow right here. You can choose virtual backgrounds. You can use snap camera. You have to download snap camera if you want to use it. But once you do, that's a really funny option. If you click on snap camera, I'm a potato now. <laughs> 
And then you can just go right back here and go back to FaceTime HD camera and it'll just bring you back to normal. So now I'm hosting a Zoom meeting and I want some more people to join in. So up here, if you hover over, you can see the meeting ID number. So that's what participants can use to join. I will have somebody join in right now. So participant two has just joined into the Zoom. So what we can do is also switch views. So currently we're in gallery view and we can switch to speaker view where one person has the biggest box down here and everybody else is gonna be in smaller boxes on the top. But the best way to do it is if you're with a bigger group is gallery view, that way you can see everybody. And the more people that come in, the more boxes that will fill in this screen. But if you're not hovered over your Zoom, you'll see that all those options that were on the top and the bottom went away. So all you have to do is hover your mouse back over here and all these options will come back up. So you can continue to switch your views that way. So if you wanna use a snap camera, you can go to this website right here and you don't have to have a Snapchat account to use the Snap Camera feature. You just go to this website and click download. You'll have to accept the privacy terms. Um, you don't have to enter your email and you can just click download for Mac or download for PC depending on what you have. And if you download Zoom first and then Snap Camera, you might have to exit out of Zoom once Snap Camera is downloaded and then reopen your Zoom account for it to register that you downloaded Snap Camera. And then once you go back to your Zoom, you'll know if your Snap Camera is registering by going to the video section, clicking here, and if Snap Camera is one of the options, that means that it successfully registered your Snap Camera. So, now with Snap Camera open, I can click on it and I'm back. <laughs> and then as you'll see, it'll automatically switch you over to whichever one you choose in your Zoom. So there you have it. I hope that you learned some helpful tips from this video. If you need additional troubleshooting, I will leave links in the description box to some helpful articles on the Zoom website if you are having any issues that I didn't discuss in this video. So thank you so much for watching again. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video.